This problem is asking for a couple things, but the first part is asking for the average acceleration of a sprinter. If we treat the sprinter's acceleration as constant, then we can use one of our kinematics equations that are designed for cases of constant acceleration. I've written out the three main equations that we can use in this little box, and remember that the goal, the method that we use, is we want to pick out the equation that includes all of our knowns and the thing we're trying to solve for, but it can't have more than one unknown. So for us, the acceleration is the first thing we're trying to find. The distance traveled, delta x, is given as 18 meters. The final speed, post-acceleration, is 11.5 meters per second, and the initial speed of the sprinter is zero. So trying to find the acceleration from these variables, we can see that our best bet is the third equation, since it includes all four of these variables. So we're going to take that equation and solve it for a to find the acceleration. So first things first, we subtract v naught squared from both sides of the equation. So v squared minus v naught squared equals 2a delta x. And we're trying to find the acceleration. So we can divide both sides of the equation by 2 delta x. So a equals v squared minus v naught squared. And it divided by 2 multiplied by delta x. So now we just got to plug in what we're given. So the square of the final speed, which is 11.5 meters per second, minus the square of the initial speed, which is just 0, divided by 2 times the distance, which is uh, 18 meters. So 2 times 18. If we put all this into a calculator, then we find an acceleration of about 3.67 meters per second squared. So this answers the first part of the problem, which asks about the acceleration. But the problem also asks about how long it takes the sprinter to reach that speed. So now that we have the acceleration, now that that is one of our knowns, I'm even going to label it at the top here, where I've made note of the different variables we have. Now we are trying to find another variable, the time. Now the time is our unknown. So once again, the, the same drill, we'll look at our equations and pick one equation that has time and also has everything else is something we know. And since every other variable is something that's known anyway, we can really use either of the first two equations. That said though, I'm going to go with the first equation, the v equals v naught plus at, just because that's the simplest equation and is going to be the easiest one to algebraically manipulate and then type into a calculator. So I'm going to take that equation, and the first thing I'm going to do is subtract v naught from both sides of the equation. So v minus v naught equals a t, and we have a now. So all we got to do to solve for t is divide both sides of the equation by a. So the time is equal to v minus v naught divided by a. So that's v, which is 11.5 meters per second minus v naught, which is 0, all divided by the acceleration, which is 3.674 meters per second. And if we put that into a calculator, then we find a time period of about 3.13 seconds. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. And if you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.